Hello there guys and welcome back again to my YouTube channel and for today's video, I'll be sharing you my high wizard guide for level 50 up until you reach level 90. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure to click the subscribe button to get more updates on my Ragnarok Origin videos. Actually, I'm really excited on making this video because High Wizard is one of the class that will dominate this game especially on War of Imperium. High Wizard main skill is more on AOE like Gravitational, Meteor Storm, that's why they are averaging 200 to 600 kills on War of Imperium. So expect that you will definitely enjoy this class. I just remember those times that there is no professor, no land protection, and it's totally chaos. So the only thing that we can do is wait for professor just to stop this class. In this video, we are going to focus on Meteor Storm build since this is the most requested build on my Discord channel. But let us talk about first what is the pros and cons of Meteor Storm. Let's start on good side. The good thing about Meteor Storm is that it can stun your enemy and it's a burst damage. And the downside of Meteor Storm is the damage is not very effective because you need to hit your enemy with 9 random meteors with 9 random location in its range to deal damage so if the meteor doesn't hit your enemy so the damage is not that high. And aside from that, it can be countered by Pasana. It will only be effective if the target will go inside the casting range and it will eat all the meteors. Now, the question, is it viable? The answer is no. It depends on the positioning and skills of the player who is controlling the character. Every skills have their own strength. Meteors will always be in use since it has a stun effect and it's a burst damage and always take note of that. Just imagine there are 20 or more high wizard, 20 priests on your guild casting AOE at the same time so stun is a big factor. I know Stormgast will do the work for you but if you want to deal more damage while holding the enemy this is the best option for you. Now let's compare it to gravitational. Let us say gravitational is only 400% damage versus meteor which is 550% and can be boosted by magnum break up to 20%. But as you can see on the video, Gravitational is more reliable because it's more consistent and continuously getting higher damage and the only thing that can decrease its damage is Ghost String and Marionette. Aside from that, it slows the enemy who is entering the casting range. Now, the big question, which one is better? My answer is Gravitational if you're looking for body counts and Meteor Storm for crowd control. Again, they have their own strength, it depends on your playstyle, it's either you want kills or crowd control. But, when the Sage already joined the game, this will be the game changer since it's a battle of Gan Batane and land protection. So, if you can cast Meteor inside their stack and stand the enemy, your guildmates will have a chance to cast an AoE and wipe all the enemy. That's why Meteor is one of the best skills of Wizard. Now, for skill stats allocation, I suggest when you are level 50 going to 90, focus first on your decks since cast time is a big factor when it comes to high wizard. Make sure to balance it. 1 is to 2, prioritize your decks, then the rest will be put into int. For skill stats allocation, you can simply copy or mimic this build. This is for gravitational in Meteor, so transitioning to GF to MS will be much easier. The only thing that you need to change is your Beru's Cog will preset manually. For gears and equipment for level 50 to 70, the best set will be Magic Code set to get casting time and additional 3% magic damage. For Mopler, use Hood for additional Int and Dex. Now, 
Now, let us talk about level 80 equipment. If your equipment is not plus 15, the best set that you can use in this stage is Sprint Set. For casting time, global cooldown reduction, and magic damage. You can still use it if you're looking forward to spam AOE. Even you reach level 100 to 120, it's still one of the best set that Wizard can use. When you reach level 90, a new set will appear, which is Magic Flow set. It increases your max SP and skill damage. However, the requirements is plus 15. It's still good for Meteor since Meteor will only last a few seconds and it's a burst damage. And like Gravitational, uh, the best set for me is Sprint set because you can cast many Gravitational when your casting time is low. You already know that the more skill you use, the more kills you gain and the more it hurts. For battle scores, since we are focusing on Meteor, so all Cogwheel that is focusing on Meteor will be the key to increase your damage, like Meteor Protocol. Aside from that, you can use Mana Length Boost, Core Overload, Blood Thirst to increase your damage, and Co Professor Activation for casting time. Now, let's talk about elements. Does elemental cards increase your damage like Badon card, Mandragora? The answer is yes, but it will only affect those monsters with affiliation with the element. Like for example, Badon card is for fire, then that your target is Minorus, which is fire, so your damage will increase 20%. Then, another question from my Discord server. When doing MVP, do I need to reach top 10 on MVP parties to drop rare cards and 2-slot accessory? The answer is no. You can get rare card, 2-slot accessory, even though you don't have any party and just topping the MVP. The only thing that is exclusive to your party is team rewards, not personal rewards. So, this is gonna be the end of discussion of that topic, okay? <laughs> So dito na natin natapusin ng video. If this video was helpful for you, don't forget to click the subscribe button to get more updates on my Ragnarok Origin video. And you can also join my Discord channel. Link is on the description below. And also follow my Facebook page, Intuitioner Gaming. And I'm also providing pilot services and fixing gears. Uh, pasok lang kayo sa Discord, guys. Maraming tambay doon. Puro guides din. And see you on my next video.